We've all been there. You're scrolling through personal finance tips online and you stumble upon the magical 50 slash 30 slash 20 budgeting rule. It sounds simple enough, right? Allocate 50% of your income to needs, 30% to wants, and 20% to savings and debt repayment. But as you delve deeper, you start to wonder, is this budgeting framework truly a one-size-fits-all solution for everyone? Can it really cater to the unique financial circumstances we all face? Or are there better alternatives out there, especially for those serious about financial freedom? Could there be a more flexible and personalized approach that better suits your financial goals? The truth is, while the 50-30-20 rule offers a solid starting point, its rigid structure may not fully address the individual needs and financial aspirations of every individual. It can sometimes feel too restrictive or too lenient depending on your situation. This is particularly true for those seeking to accelerate their wealth-building journey and prioritize long-term financial goals. For instance, if you're aiming to retire early or save for a significant investment, the standard rule might not cut it. In a world with diverse financial situations and goals, a more tailored approach to budgeting is often necessary. Everyone's financial journey is different, and so should be their budgeting strategy. This is where the 40-40-20 rule comes into play, offering a fresh perspective on budget allocation that emphasizes savings and investments. This method allows for a more aggressive savings strategy, which can be crucial for those with ambitious financial goals. By understanding the nuances of both approaches, you can determine the optimal strategy to align with your unique financial objectives. It's about finding what works best for you and your financial situation. So let's dive in and explore the intricacies of these budgeting methods, empowering you to make informed decisions for a brighter financial future. With the right approach, you can take control of your finances and achieve your goals. The 50-30-20 rule is a popular budgeting method that divides your after-tax income into three main categories, 50% for needs, 30% for wants, and 20% for savings and debt repayment. This rule gains traction for its simplicity and straightforward approach, making it accessible for budgeting beginners. The clearly defined categories offer a clear framework for managing expenses and tracking cash flow. However, critics argue that the 50-30-20 rule falls short in certain areas. One primary concern is the allocation for needs, which may not be sufficient in high cost of living areas. For instance, if rent or mortgage payments consume a significant portion of your income adhering to the 50% limit for needs could prove challenging. Additionally, the fixed percentage allocated to wants might not resonate with everyone's priorities. Individuals focused on aggressive debt repayment or substantial investment growth might find the 30% allocation for wants to be excessive. This rigidity highlights the need for flexibility and customization within budgeting frameworks. Beyond the 50-30-20 rule, a myriad of alternative budgeting methods cater to diverse financial situations and goals. One such method, the 50-40-10 rule, prioritizes savings by allocating 40% of your income to needs and 10% to wants, leaving a larger portion for savings and debt repayment. This method might resonate with those seeking to build an emergency fund or pay off debt more quickly. Another approach, the zero-based budget, involves assigning every dollar of your income a specific purpose. This meticulous method ensures that your spending aligns with your values and financial goals. While the zero-based budget requires more effort, it provides a comprehensive view of your cash flow and can be particularly effective for those seeking to gain control over their finances. Envelope budgeting is another alternative where you physically divide your cash into envelopes designated for specific expenses. This tangible method can curb overspending and promote mindful spending habits. Ultimately, the best budgeting method is the one that suits your lifestyle, financial goals, and personality. The 40-40-20 Rule Prioritizing Savings and Investments The 40-40-20 Rule presents a compelling alternative to the 50-30-20 Rule, particularly for individuals seeking to prioritize savings and investments. This rule allocates 40% of your after-tax income towards needs, 40% towards savings and investments, and 20% towards wants. By significantly increasing the allocation for savings and investments, this rule accelerates wealth accumulation and brings you closer to your financial goals. 
The 40-40-20 rule acknowledges the importance of investing early and consistently. The power of compound interest, often referred to as the eighth wonder of the world, allows your investments to grow exponentially over time. By dedicating a larger portion of your income to investments, you harness this power and pave the way for long-term financial security. Furthermore, this rule emphasizes the significance of building a solid financial foundation. Having a substantial savings cushion provides peace of mind and protects you from unexpected financial challenges. Whether it's an emergency fund or a down payment on your dream home, the 40-40-20 rule ensures that you're prepared for life's uncertainties. Implementing the 40-40-20 Rule Practical Examples Implementing the 40-40-20 rule in your life might seem daunting, but it's easier than you think. This rule is designed to simplify your financial planning and make it more manageable. Let's consider a few practical examples to illustrate its application. These examples will help you understand how to apply the rule in real-life scenarios. Imagine Sarah, a young professional earning $5,000 after taxes each month. She wants to manage her finances better and decides to use the 40-40-20 rule. With the 40-40-20 rule, she would allocate $2,000 towards needs, $2,000 towards savings and investments, and $1,000 towards wants. This clear division helps her stay organized. To cover her needs, Sarah could allocate $1,200 for rent, $300 for groceries, and $500 for transportation and utilities. This ensures her essential expenses are covered. For savings and investments, she could contribute $1,500 to a low-cost index fund and allocate $500 to her emergency fund. This strategy helps her grow her wealth and stay prepared for unexpected expenses. This allows her to invest consistently while also building a safety net. Regular investments and savings are crucial for long-term financial stability. Finally, Sarah can utilize the remaining $1,000 for wants, such as dining out, entertainment, and travel. This portion of her budget lets her enjoy life without guilt. By prioritizing her needs, savings, and investments, Sarah can still enjoy life's pleasures while working towards her financial goals. This balanced approach ensures she doesn't miss out on fun experiences. Remember the key is to find a balance that aligns with your priorities and helps you achieve your financial aspirations. Tailor the 40-40-20 rule to fit your unique situation and watch your financial health improve. Visualizing financial outcomes, comparing budgeting methods. Visualizing the long-term impact of different budgeting methods can be eye-opening. The graph above clearly illustrates the power of the 40-40-20 rule in accelerating wealth accumulation. By consistently investing a larger portion of their income, individuals can experience significant growth in their savings and investments over time. This visual representation highlights the importance of prioritizing savings and investments early on. While it might seem tempting to allocate more towards wants in the short term, the long-term benefits of consistent investing far outweigh any immediate gratification. The 40-40-20 rule provides a framework for making those crucial financial decisions that set you up for lasting financial success. 40-40-20 versus 50-30-20, which strategy reigns supreme? So which budgeting method reigns supreme? Is it the tried and true 50-30-20 rule or the more aggressive 40-40-20 approach? The answer, as with most financial decisions is, it depends. It depends on your financial goals, your current financial situation, and your personal preferences. The 50-30-20 rule offers a solid foundation for those new to budgeting, providing a simple framework for tracking expenses and managing cash flow. It divides your income into three categories, 50% for needs, 30% for wants, and 20% for savings and debt repayment. However, its rigidity and limited allocation for savings might not be ideal for everyone. If you're looking to save more aggressively or invest for the future, this method might feel too restrictive. On the other hand, the 40-40-20 rule caters to individuals seeking to prioritize savings, investments, and long-term financial growth. By allocating 40% of your income to savings and investments, 40% to needs, and 20% to wants, this rule accelerates wealth accumulation. By allocating a larger portion of income towards these goals, this rule accelerates wealth accumulation and provides a greater sense of financial security. It encourages a more disciplined approach to spending and saving. However, it requires discipline and a willingness to make conscious spending choices. You need to be prepared to cut back on non-essential expenses and focus on your long-term financial goals. Ultimately, 
The most effective budgeting method is the one that aligns with your unique financial goals, risk tolerance, and lifestyle. What works for one person might not work for another, and that's perfectly okay. Experiment with different approaches, track your progress, and make adjustments as needed. Don't be afraid to tweak the percentages to better fit your needs and goals. Remember, personal finance is a journey, not a destination. It's about making continuous improvements and learning from your experiences. What works for one person might not work for another. Your financial journey is unique to you, and it's important to find a strategy that you can stick with. So take the time to understand your options, make informed decisions, and build a solid financial foundation for a brighter future. Educate yourself, seek advice if needed, and stay committed to your financial goals. What are your thoughts on the 40-40-20 rule? Have you tried it, or do you prefer the 50-30-20 method? Share your experiences and insights in the comments below. Your feedback could help others on their financial journey.